Hey, what's up guys, it's Fishy and welcome back to some more Shogun 2 action. So, today we're going to be playing the North and South mod for Shogun 2, obviously. I think I'm playing version 0.3. Uh, it adds in a bunch of new units. There is actually a newer version, but I couldn't get it to work, so we're just going to be playing with 0.3. And if you see my last video on this mod, uh, I was only playing on 0.2. So there's a bunch more units, and it should be really, really awesome. We're just going to jump into a custom battle versus the AI, and a really cool custom map I found. And we should hopefully have some fun. Obviously, if you want to just skip to a battle, uh, feel free just to go ahead and click the annotation. I'm going to be going through armies and kind of some of the cool-looking custom units and stuff like that. Well, actually, we can go through the, the units units um, actually in the mod um, when we actually load it up whilst I'm kind of waiting for them to march. There is a bit of distance between where the enemy deploy and where the defenders deploy. So we can kind of utilize that time just to kind of look at the armies and check them out. But yeah, so basically 0.3 adds in uh, a bunch of new units for the confederacy which is really cool to see that in the newer version 0.4 they actually do add in uh, some skirmisher units and I think another unit of cavalry for either side. Which is nice to see, for sure. But yeah, so the, the Confederacies have the Louisiana Tigers as their special unit. And I think they have the Maryland something. I, I really can't remember what the, the last part of that name is. But they have like two really cool looking units. And uh, this map is actually from the film Glory. I haven't actually seen it myself, so I don't know the accuracy of that. Like how much this looks like the like the territory on the in the movie but it's still cool nonetheless so like there's loads of nice little like mounds and stuff for like trenches to protect us from cannon fire and stuff and then the enemy spawn all the way out there so it should be awesome and i also did make sure i gave the ai a bunch more units than what i have so hopefully uh, they just like overwhelm me like I i'm hoping i lose this battle just because it'd make for a more interesting uh, replay for sure so we have a nice little like moat going around our fort as well which is is definitely cool to see and our, our, our awesome looking units. I'm just going to go ahead and deploy everyone really quickly. And then we're going to go ahead and look at what they like, what everyone looks like. And like my custom units and stuff. Just because this way it will speed it up. So if you still just want to stick around and wait for me to actually go ahead and look at the units. Obviously don't click that skip, skip annotation. But if you don't really care what the units look like. Then just go ahead and jump in by clicking that annotation. And that should hopefully bring you guys straight to the battle. Because I was having some issues with my annotations, but I think I've pretty much got them all fixed now. So hopefully we have no issues there. Some carbine cavalry over there. Oh, I've got my cannons as well, don't I? Let's go ahead and, and deploy them proper, like American Civil War style. Like actually in the ranks of my of my lines. Yeah, that looks awesome. Like right next to my infantry. Wow, these guys have like blue caps on. Wow, oh, that's so nice. Oh yeah, these are one of my special units. Maryland, yeah, nice. They look awesome with their blue caps. I never actually noticed that before. So we still have a bunch of infantry left. What I'm probably going to do with like a big portion of this infantry is just go ahead and like stick it in reserve and like march it to battle. So we have some sort of like cool reinforcement, you know, like just coming to the battle. So I just stick like these three back here and just like marching column and making let's march to the field. And we'll have another two. Yeah, another two can come, actually, because they, they do deploy quite far away. So having, like, two, like, uh, you know, a couple brigades just turn up a little bit late, later, that would be awesome. And then everyone else is kind of set up. Like, our men aren't, like, obviously they're down in the trenches, so they can't, they won't be able to shoot over. But right now, they're just kind of sitting here to protect them from missile fire and, and the, obviously, enemy cannon fire as well. We'll stick another unit of cannons over here to kind of make up make up this kind of little portion obviously we do have canister shot and all that lovely stuff and the general can just sit back here and and watch the fight unfold you know he just sit up here and give commands it's going to start the battle straight away so yeah let's first off let's just go ahead and start looking at the units so these are my louisiana tigers looking awesome as always you know all the custom units in like most mods just always look really spectacular you got my cannons firing already off the cliff, and I assume they're going to be shooting back with their cannons very soon. Actually, I, did I even give them cannons? I really hope I did give them cannons. That'd be kind of lame if I didn't. And obviously we got a flag. The Union, I mean the Confederacy flag. Ready to give their lives. And then what do we have over here? I think this is just some more, more of my volunteer infantry. Again, obviously one of my basic units. Just chilling out there. Then over here... I have, uh, obviously, my, my special unit, another special unit. 
I really, really like their blue caps. They're awesome. And then just some more volunteer infantry. Like, I don't really have too much diversity in my roster. I think I just have, like, pretty much just four units of infantry. And I guess we should start marching the, the reinforcement corps up a bit. Or the reinforcement brigades. Obviously, they'll only march. And obviously, I do have some carbine cavalry over here as well. On their horses. Actually, like, a very rapid fire as well, which is cool. And then the AI has kind of set up their army in, like, two bulks. It's really it's really nice. So we have, like, the initial assault, and then we kind of have some reinforcement units in the back. So the first assault is going to be led by, I think this is the Iron Brigade army. Yeah, the Iron Brigade. Basically, the, I gave them, like, eight units of Iron Brigade. All to go ahead and just charge my position and try their best to go ahead and overwhelm me. And if they fail, they have a, a large army coming in, in reinforcements. Oh, the cannon fire as well, just ripping through. Oh, my lord. I just ripped through, like, two units there. Some I'm getting mostly back up, but still, that was brutal. So, yeah, I gave him a bunch of these Iron Brigade. You can see I, I really love their hats. That's awesome. The Iron Brigade always, of course. Actually, let's just slow mo it quickly. Like, yeah, the Iron Brigade look amazing, as always. That's the rest of them. I think I also went ahead and gave them some actual, like, just volunteer infantry as well in this army. Yeah, these guys are the volunteers. Because these guys aren't Iron Brigade. But still look really cool nonetheless. And then over there behind this army, like, kind of a reinforcement army. There's just a bunch of these reinforcements. A bunch of these volunteer infantry. And then they also have some 14th Brooklyn over here. I think this is the 14th Brooklyn. Oh no, these are the other unit I can't pronounce, but they, they do look really cool. And then the 14th Brooklyn is over here. It's just one specific unit, so you can't actually go ahead and get multiple of these. You Literally, you can only get this unit. And damn, they look crisp as hell. They really do. They look absolutely amazing. For sure. So yeah, that's pretty much the armies. They have about 5,000 more men than... Not 5,000, that's a bit too much. They have about 2,500 more men than me. So it should make for a pretty crazy battle. Hopefully we get overwhelmed on every front and we just have to fall back. And then we just get back to this little section here. And we're just holding as best we can. Luckily we have our reinforcements turning up now. To the field. They're going to go ahead and make sure they uh, reinforce where, where's needed. They're going to obviously go to the commander and the commander's going to inform them where they need to go. The cannon fire is still shooting out. You can see the advancing enemy position as well. That looks so cool. If we just like zoom in, you have their, their entire infantry line just peeking over there. And if you look further back, they're like, their reinforcement brigades are just coming as well. God, if I was a confederacy forces, I'd be pretty scared right now. The Union line just stretches for miles. Come on, cannons. You need to be volleying faster than this. As many rounds per minute as possible. Obviously, when they get a bit closer, we're just going to we're gonna advance over this little ridge bit and just like kind of stand on the edge. But until they're, they're in range, which is actually, actually are in range now. So to kind of go ahead and help us, we're just going to go ahead and advance on top of a ridge. And hopefully just let loose with as many uh, as many like shots as possible. Obviously we have a high ground, so we have to uh, use that as best as possible. Let's go ahead and advance everyone up here. And obviously we have this unit just in case anyone tries to outflank. So we have all our units up here now. Nice, the Louisiana Tigers are going to be the first unit to volley. Give them hell, boys. Look at them, they're just still coming. Just the, the legions in the back, just advancing. That is crazy. Volunteer regiment, hopefully going to be the next unit to start firing. Just di disintegrating this unit on this right flank. They're going to start volleying back at us now, so we're going to be taking some casualties. You can see some Louisiana Tigers falling to their volleys. And it looks like they're even going to start charging with a few units as well, straight off the bat. Just use their numbers to stop my guns from firing, which is obviously really, really clever. We have some more volunteer infantry over here. Our cannons are shooting. Oh, our cannons can actually go to canister shot as well now, which is good to know. So let's go ahead and stick them on the canister shot. 
So they should be hurting the enemy. Like, these canister shots should be tearing through the enemy lines for sure. Hopefully we can see some in action. Oh, let's just look up right here. Please shoot. Please just tear them apart. Oh my god, you can see the blood just racking up. Oh my lord. So many of them just dropped there. That was brutal. So they're actually charging me over here. Which is pretty brutal, because if they can route my front line... Oh, luckily we did actually manage to hold them back over here. I infantry held the line. We managed to kill about half of them, which is really good. So we just need to reform, obviously. Get our guns to start shooting again. We have actually come off a bit off a ridge. And the smoke and the blood is just pouring out. You can see the reinforcements coming. We'll go ahead and minimize that map. We don't need to really look at it. Should be volleying back into the smoke for sure. Yeah, they're just full-on charging now. But the looks of it, they're just going to go ahead and use their Iron Brigade. Who are actually really, really good in melee just to kind of overwhelm me, which is a bit scary. Luckily, the uh, reinforcement brigades have turned up. So we'll go ahead and form these guys up more into a battle formation. I guess you guys can just go over here. Like, just stay on my last line of defense. I guess we should counter charge down here. Nice for Louisiana Tigers one. So let's go ahead and pull these guys back. I don't want these guys to get absolutely wrecked. So we're going to run them back and just replace them with a spare unit of volunteer infantry. Oh, let's go ahead and get ready to counter charge here. The cannons have been overwhelmed though, which is not good. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and advance up this unit. We'll tell them to go ahead and get on top of this mound, out of the trench, and ready to fire anyone who comes over. Oh my god, that cannon shot. That just ripped through my own men, as well as theirs. We should probably go ahead and tell these guys to shoot at something a bit more, uh, a bit, bit more important. One of my cannon batteries have been overwhelmed by the enemy, though. The flag is being held high. Very, very high over the battlements. A reinforcement army is getting very, very close. I am pretty nervous right now. I just don't know if I'll be able to have enough men to actually overwhelm them. So they have actually um, advanced past this little trench part. Our men need to be volleying back. And these guys need to turn around and get ready to help out. Get a nice little cross arc here. And I think what we need to do is just advance everyone up, up onto these, these mounds. Because our numbers are starting to dwindle. I mean, we've done, we've done a lot of damage to the Iron Brigade, which is kind of the main thing. They have a lot of men in their army and a lot of elite men. But the first army is the most OP one. I gave them so many chevrons on these Iron Brigade. So the more of these guys we kill, the better, really. And we have our men just climbing on top of a mound. You can see them just pouring over as well. Damn. Nice volley, just picking them apart, really. You know, this is where I have the advantage. I have the high ground. I have a better shooting position. They're obviously going to have to be marching into formation, whereas I'm just constantly shooting. I do still have a small brigade up here as well. Oh, it's small. It's like 100 men. General's getting a bit of backfire now. Let's bring him down. Might even just dismount him as well. Both my, both my cannon positions have been overwhelmed. So I, I don't have any more cannons on my side. We've got the Louisiana Tigers over here. Might even just get him into this little crevice. Because this would give him massive protection from shoot the shots over here. For sure. So it's, I'll try going and push him in there. And just look at the damn smoke in this fort right now. This is pretty disgusting. We have the re reserves back here ready to go in as soon as the commander gives the order. Which might be very, very soon. Because as soon as his second army turns up, this is where they have the majority of the men. But again, we're doing a very good job at kind of holding them back and just picking away at this Iron Brigade. They're even going to charge me over here. I think they're actually going to charge me. Let's go and just counter charge. We don't want to be, uh, don't wanna be attacked in the side. And this does open up a really nice flanking position for my rifles.
They should be slaughtering this unit in front. Oh, they're not even shooting that unit in front. Shoot this unit, guys. Damn. By the looks of it, we actually managed to push back. Yeah, by the looks of it, we actually managed to push back the first army, which is pretty impressive. They have a few uh, brigades down there. You know, it gives us time to reform and actually kind of retake stock. Yeah, but they actually have some cannon, but they're not using it for whatever reason. They're just not dismounting these, these Napoleonic cannons. They're going to keep advancing, though. But yeah, we have definitely pushed them back here. Even got some reinforcements, some men which come back from ravering. Damn, I actually feel a bit confident now. Obviously, we, we killed the smaller force, but... I thought 2,500 extra men would be enough to go ahead and take it. And we're still obviously firing on the Union troops over here. They have one unit of Iron Brigade left. Actually, no, they have a, a few divisions of the Iron Brigade left. A few brigades. But my, my superior shooting position, obviously, is just going to be... Picking them apart. Yeah, like, look, look, I have men on like, every single ridge right now. It's going to be very hard for them to actually go ahead and, and take this. The flag is still being held high, though. And why are they even going to try and do it? They're going to try and just advance. Oh my god, that volley from book just lit up the skies. Yeah, I don't really think they know what they're doing right now. But as long as as long as the flag is held high, that's all that matters. They're gonna go ahead and try and reform, try and find a better position. Obviously, the reinforcements are right here. The 14th Brooklyn are here, but they're losing a lot of men. Is that actually, these are actually my infantry units. They are. What are you guys doing? I guess you're retaking the cannons. Good job. I actually leave one unit down here as well, just so I can have so much shooting uh, power over here. Oh my god, these guys are just not having a good day. The flag barrier has been shot. No! Look at him go down. The flag is down. Yeah, my infantry is really just having an amazing time. As they try and advance. Look at the casualties as well. Already just packed up here. Smoke coming over here. As my defensive line, after retaking the hill, trying their best. Reforming up here. And just look at that smoke clearing. Just see the infantry. Wow, that is awesome. This is a really nice cinematic mod for sure. As our, as our rifles. Well, let's just get a really nice like slow-mo down this down this rifle line. Because look at that. That is crazy. That's crazy. I take the screenshot when my men decide to route as well. The Union numbers are just too much for us right now. But as long as my rifles hold firm, they're actually moving some cannon over here as well. <laughs> the AI is so dumb with cannon. I'm actually going ahead and just advance it. I'm going to fall back my Louisiana Tigers to the ridge over here. Obviously, we do have still have a bunch of men in reserve as well, which is good. We're definitely going to need them. We've got one unit over here as well. Yeah, we've got three units over here. I'm going to advance one to go ahead and jump on this little bit here. Louisiana Tigers are coming back. I've actually decided to end up routing, which is not what I wanted to happen. Obviously, we just need to make sure we kill the rest of these this cannon crew, which we just did. Obviously, remount up this hill. Hopefully, the Louisiana Tigers come back. My other special, my other unit from Maryland have been heavily depleted down to 100 men. But they're ready. They're ready to kill whatever comes over this hill. These guys have managed to fall back. My general was actually getting really low. I'm actually going to dismount him. Because if he just get, dies from like a random cannon shot or something, I'll be so salty. You can see they've definitely gone ahead and massed up on this right-hand side. 
even taking my own mounds as well. Oh no, these are actually my units. Wow. We should probably tell these guys to like charge in or something. Charge in against the, the 19th Brooklyn. Damn, look at that blood. That is crazy. Oh, they're, they're really starting to push on this right side. They have so much volunteer infantry over here that I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to hold this back. Obviously, I have a lot of infantry myself. Also, go ahead and bring up this reserve regiment right there. We obviously do have a carbine cab as well, which I'll start moving around. But I don't really want to abuse it because I feel like I actually have a really good chance of winning this anyway. Our defenses are really strong. Our firing positions are amazing. We have this really upgraded, like, unit of volunteer infantry as well. Like, we're just five chevrons. Nice, our shots over here. These must be finding their mark. Only a few ranks can actually see over the, over the, over the ridge. But this is also obviously giving us amazing protection. And just look at the hordes of the Union just come forth. Give them hell, boys. Oh, that looks crazy cool with a flag just appearing over. You got the Union flag over there. That looks really, really cool. Hold the flag tall, boys. Let's go ahead and we're obviously going to have to counter charge here. Try and hold the back. But obviously we've got a really nice flanking position over here as well. With this unit of volunteer infantry. They're going to be seeing everything. And especially here in the... In the side, to pardon me. <laughs> wow, that came out of nowhere. On this right side now, they're starting to use their numbers again. Just advancing, shooting, advancing, shooting, advancing. And if I was the Confederacy troops, I'd be very, very intimidated right now. Just slowly advancing. Not giving them care in the world. Going to volley and charge. Going to fall back these two divisions now. The Louisiana Tigers, yeah, they have actually come back. Let's go ahead and move them into the, into the village. This right flank is going to collapse very soon, I think. I mean, this left flank, even. And as soon as it does, I'm going to be in a very, very bad situation. They're charging now over here just with sheer massive troops. Damn, look how many they have. Obviously, this volunteer brigade is just not going to be able to stand up to the, the sheer amount of force that the Union are bringing. And they're just still bringing up more reinforcements as well. We're definitely getting pushed back very, very slowly. Luckily, we're able to reform, though. Get ready to prepare for the next assault. Our general has actually dismounted as well. If he has to go in, he'll go in and he'll be brave as, as anyone else. We've got some nice volleys over here. But again, look how many men they actually have left. I don't know if we're actually going to be able to do this now, thinking about it. We'll go ahead and advance the, the last two reserve brigades up onto this hill. And advance this brigade up here. Hopefully it can get up there in time. Obviously we have a Louisiana Tigers as well, hopefully shooting overhead. Nice, there's some good volleys. We've also got a really nice crossover over here. Oh, look how cool the shadows look in the smoke. That is awesome. And the men advancing on that right flank. That is just brutal. Blood everywhere. I mean, I definitely do have a better firing position, but they also have some elevated troops as well back there. And it's, not, it's only going to be a matter of time until they decide to start actually advancing on me. Actually using their flank. Oh, nice by the AI. Yeah, actually using their flank really, really effectively. And I, I just don't have many men left now, actually. 
Yeah, they're, they're completely overwhelming me. We definitely have to come bring over our cavalry. If we can actually free up this right-hand side, then that should hopefully help us out. Oh, we have crashed. Okay, guys, so unfortunately, the mod actually did crash midway through the battle, which really sucked. But it was such an awesome battle, I thought I'd go ahead and show you guys anyway. And also, what I'm going to actually do to kind of add on because of the crash is actually make this into a, a, a two-day battle. So what, what's going to happen is the Union forces were ordered to withdraw, uh, get some rest, replenish their, their missing ranks, and, you know, take, kind of take count of the dead. And the, uh, the Confederacy are going to go ahead and harden their defenses. And the Union are going to go ahead and come back at night time and try and take the depleted confederacy fortress so hopefully this should make for a really interesting second battle obviously make sure to drop a like and a comment on this video if you definitely want to see the second battle um, i'll be sure to make sure to do it and also what i'll do is i'll also try and get someone else like pixelated apollo to jump into the battle for me uh, so we can kind of go ahead and orchestrate this second night battle which should hopefully be really really awesome so i hope you guys enjoy this mod obviously make sure to check it out in the description down below uh, drop a like and comment and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys next time and fish out.